Welcome to another exciting episode of the 4 o'clock game as we continue the 34 days of crappy games. So on, on today's subject on the program, we're going to present to you a game that is absolutely the, the worst thing I have had as a youngster at the time. It's Spider-Man and X-Men in Arcade's Revenge. This game was released in 1991 for the Super, 1992 for the Super Nintendo. This game came presented to us by Long John Nebel better known as LJN. Out of other games, this this is probably one of the worst Super Nintendo games based on the characters because of because based on the Marvel Comics character, which is now owned by Disney, now part of Disney, which is be way, way before Disney owns it, and this features Spider-Man and X-Men in promotion of the new movie X-Men, the Days of Future Past, and the, X, the Amazing Spider-Man 2. They'll, yeah, both of these movies are actually coming at, at are the biggest ones for the summer. And uh, I know that we, we make these two movies combined. And, you know, there are two superhero movies. And, yep, thanks to the people who played this movie. But, the, of course, did a great job. So I eventually want to go see this movie very well. Well, anyway, to get back to it. This game is absolutely horrible, but it's terrible. Yep, it is a very bad game for... for for a Super Nintendo game because thank goodness Long John Nimble got the guns, you know. Why we made, yeah, they made terrible licensed NES games during that time period. But why they screw up with this game? Well, I remember playing this as a youngster at the time. I did not manage to get past the the gambit stage is stupid. I mean it's horrible. And it's and it keeps dying so quickly. I don't know why, this, and the, the storm levels are just stupid. I mean, they just suck. Yeah, I hate it. I hate levels like this because it, it, every X-Men character, like Wolverine is actually doing fine in this level, but it was okay, but the rest of it is just stupid. Um, I just might as well look at the back of the game um, to show you all about that. Let's take a look at the back. And it says here, Stop wasting time reading this box. Spider-Man and his mutant pals need your help to escape from Arcade's diabetical amusement park, battling killer clowns, hungry parantas, lethal doom balls, and deadly robot replaces of super v vi villains like Carnage and the Juggernaut. Will Spidey's webs, Wolverine claws, Gambit's energy cards, Storm's fighting bolts, and Cyclops' uh, optic blast mean game over for Arcade? Depends on you. This is the, this is the most stupid game, thanks to the people who made it. LJN and Marvel, which is now a Disney product. And, you know, and uh, why not wasting your time making this game? But, yep... Even Donald Duck would be deserved to make this game look bad. I would make, I, I wish if Donald Duck would be hated this game like this anyway. <laughs> Only time could tell. Uh, so let's see what's find out. It took me an hour to make this video because of what happened. When I decided to make this video right now, right away, because when I do my playthrough of the game, I cannot manage to get past to these levels. I did well with the the uh, the gambit stage and the uh, the storm stage I did very well with that and the cyclops stage is stupid one of the worst levels in a game you know the way the what happens you have to time your correctly like, jumps you have to jump into the the wagon and what happens is if you missed it you're dead instantly dead you know you have to be very careful in the cyclops stage and if you yeah if you if you if you jump too well too way too much or whatever it is if you missed it when you jump by the wagon, what happens when you miss it? You get instant death. That's right. Train tracks have instant death. This is just stupid. I mean, freaking this game. It's not good. Ugh, stupid. That sucks. And let's find out this game is going to show you what it does. So, here we go. This is Spider-Man and X-Men in Arcade Revenge for the Super Nintendo. Man, let's get on with the game, shall we? And I'm not going to waste my time talking about it. Okay, guys, here we go. Spider-Man the X-Men. Probably the worst game ever made. 
Yep, but this is this game was actually made by another company by Long John Nebels. Only game. This is based off the comic book from Disney's Marvel, and it's a Disney game. How you can tell? It's made by Disney's Marvel, and LJN, which stands for Long John Nebel. And you start off with the comic book. Above the city streets, I just hope I'm not too late. First Cyclops, then Storm and Wolverine. Damn it! Look out! I know that truck. Okay, I have to go after him. The lives of the X-Men depend on me. And you, you can start this game at this. Oh. Yeah, I gotta tell you, um, this game is not very fun to play, and um, I don't know how to do this. Yeah, we gotta just hit the button. You know, hit the B button, for example. Yeah, we gotta start pause the game. Okay. Oh yeah, this is how you can do. Oh, now you gotta hit this Y button. Yeah, the X button is to shoot the web. Now he's in invincibility. Oh no, that's not it. You have to get the spider senses in, where, in order to get this thing right. Okay. You have to swing the web. Nope. <laughs> this is how you gotta start this game with this thing. It's the worst game ever made! No! Oh! It's not fun. I don't know how to get this thing, you know, to get these things. No! You have to use the X button to get it right this time. Yeah, let me tell you, I have not played this game in years. I don't know how to do this. This is like a Bionic Commando style. Oh. Okay, this is what I gotta do. Okay. Oh. You know, I just try to spin the web or whatever it is. You gotta get the, the whole thing. Oh, yeah, I hit this button to press. Okay, I gotta get this thing to press the buttons. Nope. I cannot get that thing right. See, I'm using the controller to get this game. Okay. <clears throat> you gotta push this. Nope. Uh, nope. Oh, here we go. Sorry, I apologize for that. Oh yeah, I just I, I have not played this game in so long, in a long time, since I did not play this game. So uh, it's been a long time since I've played. Um, ever since I've been playing this game. Ever since I got to do is like getting over. 
Yeah, it's so spiders, you have to collect spider sense. And this is like Ninja Gaiden style. Alright. Big deal. And uh, I got to give you a little stuff like this. And uh, there's there's only one thing to do. You have to jump a little further. Oh, now you now you get this right. So, yeah, I hear the buzzing. You had to get the spider sense. I don't know if I had, I remember playing this game as a kid, but when I was growing up, I actually played this game. Okay, this is how you can get this thing. You in order to... Okay. Oh, now he got it right this time. Now he's gonna get these spider scents. Yep, you have to collect spider sense as well. You have to advance to the next game. This is what I gotta do right now. Okay. You know, this is how you can go to the maze stage. <laughs> hmm. That's fine. Oh, that takes care of it. Now you get the health to restore your health. Ah, and you got that time. Now you can do is go back, try it again. Now why is it going to be appearing in this spider sense? Yeah, you have to do is collect all the spider sense things before you have to complete the stage. Now I finally beat this one. And now we've just made it this time. Yep, Spider-Man is probably done with this completely big spider sense. Welcome one and welcome all. I'm so glad you could make it, Spider-Man. Your presence here is a bonus. I didn't plan. Still, there is plenty of fun for everyone. Let the games begin! Okay, there you go. That's how this game started. You have to choose an option on how to play Spider-Man in the game. You have to choose either a thing. It's like the NES game X-Men, one of the worst ones I think I played. And now I'm going to find this Gambit. Yep, this is based on these two films. That I wish the two movies are going to be coming out in the summer. Spider the Amazing Spider-Man 2 and X-Men days of future past 
Not to be, it has nothing to do with the Moody Blues album. And now we're going to play Gambit because... And this is the worst level in the game. I This is one of my first angry memories I played when I was like... Yeah. Now the balls just died. Okay. Now we're just going to do a little ball. Yeah, you have to watch out for the ball. And it vanishes. And yeah... This game gives you a little bit of an infinite amount of lives. You have to collect the stars. This is so tough, you know, this is one of the most difficult levels in the game. But now you, you're running out of cards, and now... Here's a, here's a amount of cards, you gotta watch out for the gap, and then you fall and die. Like Joker cards, you have to do is you have damn it, looks healthier. But it comes to this. Okay. Yeah, you get four extra lives. They look like coins that look like Super Mario Brothers. This is how you can do is like yeah. You had to watch out for that. In the in the real game, you have to play is you had to watch out for that ball unless you died throughout most of the level. And now you get to the maze right now. Whoa. And I died. And I died. I, I, I nearly got into this thing when I get past to the level. This is how bad this game is. It's the worst game ever. And, you know, this is the toughest stage. I don't they bring back memories. You know, without the game, Genie, you yeah, know, this is one of my first angry memories I played in the game. And I know this is how tough this game is. And I just sort of fall into this gap and died. You have to watch you. You have to be very careful if you jump off this platform, you, you're dead. This is what I get, you know, so that you have to be very careful when you time it correctly. Unless otherwise you'll be dead. But this is how bad this is. I can't get it right. This is the worst thing I ever played in my freaking life, and I know this is the worst level in the game. Well, this is how you can do is play this game and immediately, if you did, yeah, there's no ball. You have to play this game without that, you know? Without even dying at once.
And now I gotta do is fall into this gap. jump a little further. Okay. Oh, yeah. We made it this time. Finally made it just in time. And I died. I died. Okay. I, 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 get, I get it with this. So... I just want to put some entry. I have to. I have to put the cheat code in here. So I don't know if you have to give it a levitation jumps. So hold on just a second here. I just want to give it a little bit of. Uh, yeah, I, I I get it. I get it with that. It says here. Let's let's start this here and from the top right now. Um. This is number 32. It says unlimited cards. Gambit has unlimited cards. And uh, you'll have another cheat code if you have another chance. So, where this is how we can do with the levitation jumps. Yeah, this is a levitated jump. It says here. 7E, let's see, 7E, 063, F, and, uh, we just, just try to do is Gambit has, yeah, it has a levitated jump. Okay. Now, ladies and gents, let's resume the game. Okay, we're going to start this, we'll resume back in the game right now. Oh, yeah. Now you're jumping a little further than that. Okay, I, I, sorry, I, I didn't get any levitated jumps, so, uh, yeah, this is not very fun. So, just, uh, just to think it's the worst level in the game. Um, alright. Now he died. Let me try that again, shall we? You know, he got six lives. It's only the worst thing ever made. This is kind of a worst. Okay. Now you get Gambit out of the way. This will take care of him. All 
right. Okay, now we just got it right. Right on the right bat. Right on the money. Well, this is how it took too long to pass it all around. Well, we've got that right. Oh, you okay, got the maze. Man. This is what I gotta do right now. Whoa. Okay. You know, you hit the Y button. Okay. Huh. And now I gotta do is die again. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, let's see how I can jump further. Here we go. Okay, this, this is how you can fight this boss right now. Yeah, this game has only had three lives, and yep, each of them had three lives, and a couple of these are no continues. If you jump back, you this game. And now he now he fights it, and then he's gone. Well. That's not too bad, this is hard. And now we just have to play another game. This is another stage in the game. Okay, this is how we gotta do is play this different stage right now. Yeah, you don't do that as well. You gotta This is why I just tell you the game is not very cool. This is LJN. This is, this is uh... Okay, you know, you're in the elevator right now. Well, you got seven lives. You have to watch out for those little path, you know, if you get stuck, you're dead. If you get crushed, you're dead. This is how you can do. Yeah. Thanks so long. This is one of the hardest stages in a video game history. You know, the little frustration between this game. It's not very good. 
It doesn't even look like it's, it's not even well, not one of the best game in, in an NES slot in the Super Nintendo library. And now, I died. I died again. So I, I just want to start this again. Well, there's no checkpoint, however. And now I got now I got to go back and do it again, and again, and again. And I died a freaking second time around, I just did. What this is happening to them? This is hard. This is harder, you know? It is so hard in the first stage, you know? This is Gambit, you know? Gambit has the hardest stage. This is one of the toughest game in video game history. And, you know, why do they gotta do this? And, in general but this is not very well i do not know how to beat this this stupid game wait a minute tell me this is the worst game ever made on the any on the super nintendo i can't get the thing to beat i can't get thing to pass this level this is the part i cannot get past this level again it's i haven't gone back to the first stage again the absolute worst part that I, I cannot get past the first level. That's a bad sign. This is what I gotta do. Well, you gotta play... No one who would play this game would look like horribly garbage. This game is a complete garbage. It's a liar. How do they think? Long John Nebel deserves it, or even at the end of the rainbow deserves it. Somebody would tell me if this is a Marvel game. Oh no no, oh you nearly killed him. Oh. This is some bad disgrace for an any for a Super Nintendo game. You can you cannot believe how you can die in this you have you died in certain parts of the game in which I can't beat this Okay, we're gonna take it to the left side of the game. Okay, here we go. You have to collect stars in order to get extra lives. And I, 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 I don't know why you cannot delete this, this game so bad. This is horribly bad. All oh, right. You know, I got to do this. Oh yeah! Now you collect these gems. You're up on the elevator. We're halfway through this. But this is how you cannot believe. But this is how you can't beat the game. Yo, I just had to tell this is Gambit stage. I hate the Gambit stage. But this is tough. I don't know. It's it's not very good. Oh now now we finally made it to the boss. Yeah, fight this evil woman. This 
Black Magic Woman or something from Santa out of a Santana song. Yeah, now he's beat. Now he beat this guy. Oh. Yeah, we gotta just beat this. Beat this sucker up. Come on, beat this evil woman out of the way. You know, something out of it. Beat the black magic woman out of the way. I'm a black magic woman. I'm a black magic woman. Oh, I'm singing Santana. Here we go. You've done. Okay. You have to choose each game, each level of the game. We know we gotta play as Storm. All right, we're gonna beat this gun out. Okay. All right, then now we get to do this. This is the toughest stage in the game. Now he's going to swim deep into this ocean here. And I, I cannot beat the... You have little bubbles. You had to collect all the bubbles. This is how you want to do is beat this thing up. Yep. You're in the stage with flowing water. But this is all you can do. You want to beat this? Thing and then you're better off. You're down to the last health. And now he died at, again. Sounds like I hear that in the Crazy X game, I hear that, that hammer. Does, does it sound like uh, screaming in the thing? Now I, I just want to... you can see here... This is what it can do for them.
Oh, now you just have to watch out for the fireballs. It's avoidable. And here's a here's the thing. Okay. Now that takes care of it. You know, you have to step in here and drown. You need to drown and die. Okay, this is what I gotta do. Just have to get this bubbles, then just go up there. And stay away from those little electrocuting, you know, you don't get zapped. This thing won't get zapped. This is what I'm going to do right now. Alright, now you just fill up this thing. Better watch out for those little fuzzy things. And that's this is why you can do is you're gonna enter this thing. And yeah, you can hear that pow zap or whatever. This is like they did in a Batman TV show. Now you just gotta take damage from the storm. We well, yeah, we didn't get extra life. Oh, no, you're nearly close to the last life. Okay. We just have to do is just stay a heck away from that. But none of these people have been played this game. I have not played any of these games like this. Like they did in the first place. If it has anything to do with it, it's avoidable. But this is so how this this thing is tough. This is a toughie here. You have to destroy this thing. Whoa. This is how you can do is it's I'm stuck in the first place. So 
but now I gotta just destroy this thing and uh okay. Now you got to see those bubbles before they uh, go anything further. Now I gotta go back and do it again. Now we just got it right this time. So I just finally made it this time. So I don't want to get loose. This is what I got to do. Oh yeah, you got to watch out for these explosive things here in the globe. Okay. Now we made it. We just made it this time. We just finally did it. Okay. Now let's see if the storm's going to come up in there and just swims around like that. Okay, finally done it. Well, this is how this is how the game works. Oh, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. Just trying to beat this this thing without even dying at once. This is what I gotta do now. This is what I gotta do now. Oh! I just wanna die this thing and insulting okay Got it this time. Hmm. 
Hmm. And I died. I hate they died. Yeah, just died a stupid death. Now I gotta do is just go back and do it again. And I hated this. This, this, this. I died. Oh, okay. Now I just gotta take storm about this this time. And I just died instantly again. I just want to give it uh, the whole thing. It's just absolutely bad. I don't know why this, this is, the game looks awfully bad. This is awful. You can see how awful this game is. This is how what I'm going to do is just control the storm swimming. Like in a, yeah, you gotta drown like Sonic the Hedgehog did. But I just did. Look what happened. And I just know he died. This is what I gotta do. It's just how to beat this this level of the game. This is the first time I've been played it. In the past, we've been played other bad games in this in general. And this is what I'm going to do. But this is what I'm going to be doing now. For the rest of the game. But this is the game that I've never played in my life. I finally beat this game and I just don't know why. Oh. Now you take away two bubbles out of the way. And I know I just died again. Dum. This is what I gotta do. It's this is this is a catastrophe. First, you gotta do is die. Now we just save. Now we can save that from from being this game. 
All right. This, this game has had to avoid it. But, but amaze me. And I just said, I actually died instantly. You know, this is what I gotta do. Attic do. If this is how you can say, Attic do. And I just died a freaking third time! This is what I gotta do with this. But this is what I gotta do for crying out loud. Oh no, I, uh, now we're down to the last life. And I think it's horrible! I think. Mean, look what happened to Storm! And oh. That, this is what I gotta do! The game is not fun! Oh my goodness! We just had to complete this stage right now. I can't even get the second stage passed. How do I die this thing? Okay. Now we just gotta go back and go further and do it again. So I don't wanna wa watch avoid those little wires. gonna do is under my last health right now. You just gotta go back and do it again. Oh, now he just...
Okay. I need it this time. And I died a freaking time! The storm! This is the stupidest second stage I've ever played in my life! Jeez. Jeez Louise. Like Dave Mance used to say that all the time. Oh, boy. Now you gotta do the time correctly, and I'll, I'll just have to show you what it is. Now you get this turbo thing on. This is what I gotta do first. Oh, now he's back. Oh, now he's back to health again. Now he's just gonna do is just... Okay. Now we're just done. Okay. Alright, here we go. This will replenish our bubbles to refill.
Well, now I'm stuck in this level of the game. Now we gotta do is get out of that red level. This is what I gotta do for, for a living and I can't understand why the game is in storm stage. You know Okay, I, I, this is a long game. This is a long game. I was trying to give it a little bit of a walkthrough here. This game is just not very cool. Alright, uh, I'm not going to do this for the rest of the game. I just have to give a little bit of a walkthrough here for this video. And uh, I want to check out the storm stage. I just want to watch this game. This is like going through the patterns of the game. Let's wait and see what it is. Okay, now we're done with that. I'm trying to help you how to beat this game with my own bare hands. Yeah, make them drown. Okay. Oh boy. Well, what we're gonna be going from here. Okay. Alright, now we gotta do is fight the boss. Okay. This is what I'm gonna do, just, just beat this guy off and beat this son of a gun out of here.
and I died it again. Those are pretty stupid. I, I just, this is where an hour in the in the game now. For some reason, I gotta just, just give it, just give it up to them. Just got this one right. And now he's got it. Now he's done. This is the long stage. Now he's done. Finally made it. This game has went on for so long. Alright. And now he's died on the electric chair. Okay. This is what I'm going to play Cyclops for. Okay. And I, I now I died a freaking darn. Now I died a freaking time. I know you gotta jump too far, you died. This is what I gotta do right now. Donald, this is this is this is so bad. Okay. Give this a break here.
Okay. And I just died a what is this? What is the mess we have here? Because this is what I, I think it's pretty bad. You know, you know what? And for three hours now, I got to play this game like the entire full game. And no! Alright. You're just exploding like garbage! Now, now you gotta take, take hits. I guess this is what I gotta do is just die, die, did die. Too bad they Nate took care of all this stuff. Oh, now, now he's back on there with this. But, but the fact is, you have to, this is the toughest boss in the game. This is the toughest stage. This is the Cyclops stage. This is what I gotta do for, like this. I remember playing this game as a kid right now. When I was a kid, I've been playing this game a lot. Oh, now you're safe. I don't know. It's better safe than sorry. This is what I'm gonna do. But this is what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the game. And now I just died of the freaking dying! Alright, I gotta get this going, Rick, or else I'm gonna be crushed. Now you try to make this game look bad. I gotta do for what the game is. This is supposed to be good. I just want to say it's it's not a great game. It's not even the worst as other games. The old Long John Nebel have been made this game for like the last two and a half hours.
And no, I just did die. Just give me, give me a break. If you know he's dying a, a freaking time, then I'll, I don't get it this time. All right, now we just gotta just jump on the stupid paddy wagon. I get up to two deaths a day. All right. Now we gotta go over here. Oh, it's awful. Okay, we're safe here. Alright. Now we just had to do is a pretty easy game. Okay. Right. Now it's it's pretty fair to play this this piece of garbage. Okay, far enough to safe enough. And now I just died. Oh, wow. This is what I gotta do for for a living, and I can't can't stand it. Right on this, and so you have to, you know, you can't do that on electrical things. But I just want to tell you, but for, for crying out loud, and it just took too long to make this game look forever. Yo, this is, this is X-Men. This is like the, you played Cyclops from the from the comic book. Let me tell you, this is like my first angry memory I've been played at the um, Spider-Man and X-Men in Arcade's Revenge. Those are like one of the most tedious game I've played in my life. I was like young at the time and I was remember playing. It was actually, I cannot have to figure out how to beat this game for, for some reason. Now I gotta do is beat this son, son of a gun out of here in order to beat him. It's what I gotta do. Beat the game. But now I gotta do is beat this this thing out of here in order to beat him. I just want to beat the Cyclops out of me. And now I gotta do something to beat this game, and I don't know how to beat them. I can't figure out how to beat this. This is only about... This is about two hours in the game. This is a long video. I, I just did for like... Three minutes in the game because why do we need a game based on this? But 
But now you got a punch. Okay. Okay. But now I gotta do this. Huh. And now I just did! Hey, oh my... What the hell happened? Now I gotta jump a lot further than that. But then you, I gotta jump a little further. Okay. That takes care of that. Man, this is what I gotta do. You gotta do that. I had to beat this thing out of here. Oh. Now you got now you gotta find it and you missed it and you died. You died way too soon. Because this is what I gotta die. You know what? We're in 90 minutes in the video right now. This is what I gotta do. We put 90 minutes in the video right now, and I just want to, uh, well, how, how bad this control is. These controls are pretty bad. And I can't. I cannot describe this game as a, as a pretty bad disgrace. And you know what? Hmm. Wish they do this. Wow. And you know, finally got it right this time. But this is what I gotta do first. This is this is the stupidest stage I've ever played in all that life. Who the heck is Cyclops, anyway? But what I gotta do right now, it's not like you cannot make us make an example of one how bad this is. Alright. Okay, we made it. We made it. <laughs> we just made it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And now you can't jump off and commit suicide when you jump. This is how you do fell into the leap of faith. Well, it's what I gotta do for... for what I gotta do first. Oh, yeah. Now X-Men is just... Cyclops has been... doomed. Two. I gotta get this over with.
Now we, I'm just gonna wait before these jumps. You know, this is like a walkthrough of the game. I'm getting to do this walkthrough right now. Oh. This is not good. This is not very good. Oh boy. We've been over this for about 30 minutes in this. I don't know, it's 90 minutes in the video right now. I'm not going to play the rest of the game of Spider Man and X Men in Arcade Revenge. Man, I can't respect. This is so. This is horrible. This is the worst game ever made on the NES. And I cannot play this game anymore. It is not good. It is not good. So, let's kill this game and uh, let's let me show you what is going on here. So, I I was managed after all this 90 minutes of playing this boring game, this these levels. I completed Storm and I completed Gambit. I halfway completed Cyclops and I didn't complete Wolverine and uh, Spider-Man stages. And I just want to tell you, the one thing I'm not going to manage to do is play the Wolverine stage and the Spider-Man stage. Well, I manage, I have not, I had decided to quit right now. And I decided to give up this game because this is the piece of garbage. It's a long and the worst game ever made, courtesy of Long John Nebel and Software Creations. So, I found this video courtesy of Psycho Moog that he showed the walkthrough of the whole game of Spider-Man and X-Men and, and the X-Men in Arcade Revenge. And I know this has, this has got to be one of the worst st things I've ever seen. So I want to, with that video, I have to thank Psycho Moog for this run on YouTube. So for the first time, if you have never played this game, I want to show you the final boss and the ending. I hope you all like it. So I'm just going to do halfway through the commentary video, so hope you like it. And here's Spider-Man. And yeah, you had to fight that that arcade guy. That's right, you had to feed like X-Men and there's Gambit and yeah, you had to kidnap them. You had to battle together. Man, this is how bad this looks. Now he's in. Now he's taking that out. He's bouncing around like a like a yo-yo. And now, now he finally died. But now he just finally destroyed this thing. Now Wolverine and uh, Cyclops is trying to fire them up. And now he's now he's at two arcades. Yeah, three of them to each other. And now he died, and now he got the fourth one. Oh yeah! You got that right. Okay finally beat this guy this is the toughest final boss in the game and I just want to show it to you guys now he, now he blows up like a yeah earthquake and here's the ending to the game it says well done you have excelled yourselves Obviously, that wasn't me. More of my robots. Now, I've got just one more surprise. I'll give you a clue. Five, four, three. Run! That place is gonna blow! Boom! You think he's got out? 
You can count on it. Come on, let's go home. Yep, there's your game over screen, and yeah, there's no credits or no ending. There's no, there's nothing. It says game over instead of the end, and that and that goes into the game. And there you go, and that was Spider-Man and X-Men Arcade's Revenge. Wow, it's terrible. It's one of the worst games ever made on the Super Nintendo. I had fond memories playing this game. I remember beating, playing this game, and I cannot get past to this game. This is one of my first angry memories of playing this game and I can't play this anymore. Screw you, Long John Nebel, for making that miserable game on the Super Nintendo. Well, what I'm going to do first, let's go to Go Anime and ground Spider-Man and X-Men and Arcade's Revenge. Let's ground this game. Okay, we'll be right back. We'll come back after this. We'll talk about my next game. Let's kill Go Anime and find out. Spider-Man and X-Men in Arcade's Revenge Super Nintendo. I cannot believe you made a horrible game that has decent controls. Fair gameplay and it was bad. Except the Gambit stage was so hard and terrible and it keeps dying by getting him road killed with a big giant ball. That's it. I'm calling Anne, Joyce and Matt right now. Spider-Man and X-Men in Arcade's Revenge Super Nintendo you have some visitors. Hello this is Joyce here and you made a pretty bad game for the Super Nintendo and it has bad gummy play, bad controls and the gambit stage is hard and it keeps dying. I'm Matt and I heard you made a very bad Super Nintendo game from the company known as LJ and known for the steaming pilot poop. LJ and make crappy games in the past. The game was based off the Marvel characters which is now owned by Disney. And I'm Takashi and you are in so much big trouble. You are so 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 grounded for 12,345,678,900 million years. And you will also be forced to play Adventures in the Magic Kingdom for the NES, The Little Mermaid for the NES and Game Boy, DuckTales for the NES, Mickey's Castle of Illusion for the Sega Genesis, Fantasia for the Sega Genesis, Mickey's World of Illusion for the Sega Genesis, Mickey Mania for the Super Nintendo, and Aladdin for the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. Now start playing those Disney games while you are grounded for a permanent life. What? Alright everybody, back in the studio right now. So, right before I'm filming this, I apologize that the, my, my, my camera, my iPhone, iPod Touch just got crashed, so I had to restart start it again. I just want to apologize for that. So, in addition to all of this, I greatly apologize for the screaming and yelling throughout my show during my frustrating games because all throughout my 34 days of crappy games I can say it loudly as long as I wanted because after I keep dying I had to scream and this is one of my most angriest memories I haven't played this game I remember playing this game it's like well it's just probably I played a lot of bad games lately so I greatly apologize for this so I don't want to have to do this anything like this anytime soon so I will I will do this just for that just for the sake of this video if you if you if you see my yelling and screaming out if, during my games so just turn down the volume and uh, just don't just be aware of that okay just enough said yep spider-man and x-men and arcade revenge for the Super Nintendo is just stupid it sucks I really hate this game very much because it's not a very good game it doesn't even follow any of this relation anything to do with the Marvel franchise. Yeah, if you take the Marvel characters, you know, Marvel slash Disney characters, you know, that's part of Disney, and it's part of the Disney product, and uh, just make this and turn into some sort of a stupid game. Well, it's just horrible. It's it's a complete garbage. Just well, do us a favor. Don't play Spider-Man, X-Men, and Arcade's Revenge. If you want a good Spider- if you want to get a good Marvel game, just play other games like Marvel's Ultimate Alliance or or Spider-Man in Maximum Carnage which is a pretty good game and it was the only good game on this Super Nintendo which was made by under the name LJN it's by the same company they made this game you know Spider-Man Spider-Man in Maximum Carnage which is a pretty good game I have never played it since after watching the AVGN's wishlist episode 
he actually he made a game they made LJN did a great job and now after producing a series of bad terrible licensed NES titles for, for titles for both the NES and Super Nintendo why not they made this game and made it only one game and that is pretty good that's right it's just a good game so I just don't even play Spider-Man X-Men Arcade's Revenge so if you want to get a good game just play other great Marvel games Play Marvel's Ultimate Alliance and Spider-Man Maximum Carnage. That's a pretty fun game to play. So, and even one of the Disney games, which you want to play, this any other besides the Marvel and the Disney Universe, which we'll talk about this. This is actually it's a waste of time. But this is this game is one of the worst superhero-based games ever, aside of X-Men for the NES and the and the other game because it's just. Yeah, X-Men for the NES kind of sucks. And the Spider-Man, in this god-awful Spider-Man game, which I think it's for the Atari, which I'll talk about that in the future. Man, that's kind of stupid. And now, and that wraps up this edition of the 4 o'clock games, 34 days of crappy games, and join us tomorrow as we bring you another horrible game. This is what I'm going to be talking about tomorrow, right here at 4 o'clock games, 34 days of crappy games. So, well done. See you tomorrow.